Guys, and today we'll be continuing ReZero, starting life in another world, season two. And don't freak out, the background's only like that right now because I was in the middle of making a Barbie movie review. And I haven't taken it down yet, so don't freak out. <laughs> okay, anyways, last episode. Okay, boys, this episode is going to be hype. I think we're back in on planet Earth. At the end of last episode, Amelia ran in to start the trial. And she just passed out. I'm thinking what happened to her is currently what Subaru is going through. Because when Subaru ran in after her, he also passed out. And then he woke up, I think, back on Earth. Like, in his bed. So I'm thinking Amelia is currently facing her foes. Her whatever. I, something. I don't know. And we saw Subaru's dad. And boys... He looks, he looks identical, pretty, so, something about his face looked a little different though, but besides that, he looks identical to Subaru, which is pretty cool. Dude, I'm so hyped. I just want to see his parents. We saw a little bit of Subaru's dad, and he seems awesome. So far, I mean, I know, he may be terrible, I don't know. All right, starting this in three, two, one, what? Dude, he's so jacked, bro. Hey, what's the matter? You train daily and still lose to a middle-aged man? Huh? No, 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 no. Let's go. Mom? I'm getting hungry, so I'd like to have some breakfast. Could you two wrap this up now? Whoa, her eye. Look at, look at Subaru's eyes. Look at her eyes. That's so, that's such a cool, wait, am I, maybe I'm capping. No, you're absolutely right, honey. Really sorry. That's she has super sharp eyes. I could be wrong. I started feeling adventurous, so I made something special just for you. Why are there so many of these things? It's not good to be picky about your food, so I thought this might be a good chance to get to mm, I don't know if I could do that. special day or anything. Look at his dad, boys. It's literally just him. Once in a lifetime opportunity to make a positive change. Doesn't matter now, so it's time to eat. Don't be shy and dig in. You know, I've always Oh, that actually looks good though. Western dishes. What are we supposed to do with this? We can't just keep on passing it around. Well, I hate peas, so one of you will have to eat it. She hates peas? Bro. Tiny and round. Dude, this is so cool. Exactly Ooh, you know what? That actually looks really good, honestly. Let's get the dishes to the sink. And after that, we'll race to school to help digest Stop trying to turn this into a scenario that ends with me going off to school, okay? To school? Send that to bed. Wait, what happened? He didn't say it. It's not just me. Huh? Okay. Come to what? <laughs> hey, mind if I join you? <laughs> Dude, he's gone. Best dad ever. Subaru's dad's my favorite character. There's no need for that between two guys as tight as you and Oh wait, you're right, I'm sorry. Someone says teenager. I'll leave and come back. Too late now, it doesn't matter. So tell me, is there a girl you like? Are you serious? Yeah, is there Subaru? Is his dad, like, is this even real currently? Or is, is he in on it, kind of? I don't think so. Whoa, dude, so pretty. Man, this is kind of sad because his family's, like, awesome. And, like, you know what I mean? Is he ever going to really see them again? 
you know? Why so suspicious? Look, I'm not going to tell you anything scary. It's more of a father-son subject. Uh, tell me more. I can't wait. Bro. Oh, my boy. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Ken? Son, don't tell me that. Uh-huh. This is my son. He looks so much like you did back when you... 100%. Were... Take after your mom. Uh, huh? <laughs> Just the eyes. Let's go. That's so cool. You're old enough to have a son who's that age. Come to think of it, today's Monday, right? Shouldn't you be in school now, young man? Yeah, Subaru. What? Hey, what's wrong? I don't understand what's going on. Why is that happening? Every time they mention school, he gets heart issues. It's interesting because it seems like he's already had these heart problems to begin with. That's what it seems like. Here, a tasty ice cold cola packed with rug. Dude, I can't get over it, dude. You really thought I didn't coming? Oh my gosh, this is so epic. Are you ready to head back home? What? Best dad ever. Best dad ever. Gosh, man. Oh my god, dude. I can't really speak for the rest of the world, but personally, I don't believe school is the be all end all. I love Super's dad. You still do look like a bad guy thanks to those angry eyes you inherited from your mom. You're crazy. Something about me is Is that foreshadowing? I seriously doubt it. Next how I'll Hey, are you all right? You look like you're again. Okay, okay, is he, like, you know? Does he see this now? Who are you? Oh! Well, she said the end of season one, right? I think. I think so. He totally remembers now, doesn't he? Dude, this is so weird and I love it. I'm all right now. Sure. Hey, as long as you feel better. But don't worry so much, you hear? There is one. I'm oh trying. my gosh. So now, I just know. I'll be fine. Oh, dude, this is so cool. I, 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 what's the trial though? You know what I mean? What's the purpose of this? Thirty out of a hundred. Made no sense. Working my hardest at school seems stupid. What's the big deal about being a fast runner? I knew they were a bunch of. Idiots. He's got a lot of. Oh wait. Oh, they're leaving. I couldn't have this much fun without them. I would break up the boring times doing pointless crap for fun, with or without regrets. So I decided I'd set my sights higher. And he's by himself, boys. The next thing I knew, after taking a good look around, I found there was no one left but me. Honestly, I really blew my high school debut in a big way. It was bound to happen, though. I've never had any real relationships <laughs> at that point. <laughs> he still does that. That is so cool. These family's awesome. Most of all, he wanted you to say, I don't love you. Well, I can't stand you. Maybe you can. You are not my son. I really hope you tell me that when you go home now. But now. Dad. Dad. You're my salvation right now. You 
Rim. Let's go. Oh my gosh. It's zero. Let's go. Oh snap. What? What? Wow, really? And Rem? to anymore do, do they know I... please stop no i knew this was coming D why no dude i know I'm just happy he's finally like sad like he his family's just gone, you know? I'm so sorry. I don't know matter how much time passes, you're still such a handsome son. Sheesh. Uh... <laughs> Alright. I still feel like walking a little bit more, so I think I'm gonna take the long way home this way. Why does it look like are we about to depart? I'll keep heading this way, Dad. No, this is it. This is it, isn't it? We're never gonna see him again, are we? Hey, Subaru. I'm sure you got a lot of things going on right now too. So there's really only one thing I want to say. Just give it your all, son, and do the best you can. Got it? Yeah. You can count on me, Dad. Dude, I can't. Let's go. My name is Subaru. Oh my gosh. Son of Kenichi Natsuki. I can do anything, and I will. Oh my god. me after all so it's in your blood I'll never forget Kenichi boys hopefully I'm saying it right well defeating Subaru Natsuki is complete what's it been already about three months or so three months wait we've been in this world for three months can we get more screen time with her please what's her name please Guys, is his mom like all there mentally? Dang, really? Do something. Don't ruin it. Hey, what's this about? Why are you following me? Bro, we're never gonna see her again. I'm not going all the way to school. Just for the convenience. Does he know you know what I mean? Does he know right now? Like does he remember everything from the other world? 
I'd be chilling with my mom as much as I possibly could. Nothing special, really. How much do you... You should know, Subaru. Dude, her eyes, boys. Keep a close eye on their children. More than they realize. We're protected. That goes for me, too. I'm always watching you. One time when you were little, I had to give you a suppository. So I've even seen your little pony up close. Whoa. Well, thanks for that. Yeah. down there in the lane with you. But don't tell me everything, Mom. Someone other than your father and me. To have made a positive impact on you, didn't they? 100%. Whatever they are, I think they did a wonderful thing. See, the way they're talking is like, are they, what, you know what I mean? Are they like, is this really them, kind of, you know? I agree. That's why I'm able to walk this path. They really are wonderful people. I honestly don't deserve them. I see. But you won't give them to anyone else, right? Oh, you better believe it. Because whether I'm good enough for them or not isn't the issue at all. If I had to give them away, I'd make them mine, even if I don't deserve them. I just vow to make myself worthy of them later on. You're definitely wasted. Oh! It seems like he's always living in his, like, dad's shadow. Am I living up to all the expectations of being his kid? <laughs> don't worry about a thing, because after all, half of everything at the core of who you are came from me. So if you manage to become even half as good as your dad, then you filled your quota. Cross no. Okay. Crossroads again. Okay no, I hate this. I'm sure you will. Give it your all then. Mom! Bro. There's something I need to do. I probably won't see you for a long time. Oh my god, no, please stop. It's kind of far away too. Yeah. I know it makes no sense. So, no matter where I might be, I promise you, I'll be thinking of you guys. I'll never forget you. Subaru, I... I swear to you, no matter what, I'll always want to be your kid. I'll try to never do anything that makes me hate myself. Dude, this is rough. This is so rough. I he better start talking about his parents more during when he's in the Goonica, like the other world. Cause they're both amazing. Take care of yourself. No! Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Take care of yourself. That was the last thing his Oh. Bro. I hope somehow his parents can, like, get these subliminal messages from his son or something. Because, you know, this is. I feel so bad for his parents. So we're going to actually see his school now? Okay. Bros. Well, look at you. You're oh. much than I expected. Like I was giving you. So, you've had some time to confront your past. She's so hot. <laughs> What's that experience? Oh my gosh. Parent and child. Was that it? Beatrice? Okay, what's up with... Why are we seeing so much Beatrice? I'm just gonna throw it out there. No, that doesn't make any sense. Could Beatrice be... Her daughter? I doubt it. it. Makes no sense. See, Beatrice again. She's barely in the show, boys. So you know she has to be playing a big role. Okay, boys. This episode was so needed for me. I've, I've always wanted to know Subaru's parents because this has been one thing with the show that I constantly think about. Because it's like. His parents are pro- I, 
this this was cool and epic because but also sad because now I know his parents are both awesome and he's like never gonna see them again I guess and uh, this wasn't I don't know was this like a because they said it's reliving the past so was this actually a moment in his past or was it like a like like was that like a part like a actual like part in his past that he's reliving or was that scenario from his past like were those really his real parents or like a like you know what i mean like was was that like actually real like him in the past real or was it like a different like you know what i mean like were those his actual parents at a certain time in subaru's life i think we were there for three months it's because i'm a little confused because it kind of just like threw that out there like it after he was with kenichi kenichi boys he's in like my top three favorite <laughs> dude he's so epic Anyways, okay, so after he was done with Kenichi, his dad, it then did like a three month time jump, I think, where he's going back to school. So the whole point of this trial was to overcome his like, f it was to get right with his parents, right? And also go back to school. I'm just happy he did this anyway, so in a weird way he can like make it right with his parents even though like I don't know if his real parents even like did they get any of this information that of what just happened you know what I mean like I I I, I don't even know how to explain it like I don't think his real parents saw any of what just happened or I don't think those will become memories from Subaru I think this is like his parents but like a dream sequence version or something you know what i mean because like it almost seemed like every once in a while his parents are almost in on the whole trial thing kind of like certain wording uh kenichi was talking to the old dude saying it's all to subaru at this point so it's almost like they're all part of it but it's like their genuine feelings and like the way they would act so it's like they're really his parents you, you know what i'm saying it's kind of hard to explain like but i don't i don't know or, like I said, was it an actual point in his past? And that he's like reliving, kind of, I don't know. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm a little proud of myself. I, I noticed the eyes. They look, Kenichi looks a lot like, Kenichi's like literally Subaru. Copy and paste, but the eyes are like, that's the only difference, the eyes and glasses. That is literally like it. That's kind of cool. I didn't get his mom's name. I don't even know if they said it. And at first, I actually thought his mom had like mental issues. Cause like the first introduction I got of her was she had like something like, what was it like? She was making like a new dish or something for them. And it was like a mountain of peas and she hates peas. So that she wants them to eat the peas. And then she's talking about mayonnaise and like, would you rather choose mayonnaise or the world? Like what? But now that we got more from her during the end, when we had her time to be with Subaru, she is, she's normal. She's not like, I, I don't think she's mentally challenged. I thought she was at first though. The reason why Subaru was struggling so much, it seems is that he was constantly living in his dad's shadow. Cause honestly, his dad seems epic in like everything. And it seemed like he's just constantly, you know, we kept getting flashbacks of like, Oh, you're so his son or something like that. So no matter what he did, he could never leave his dad's shadow. So I guess that is one good thing about him being in this new world is he has nothing to live up to. You know what I mean? He's already himself. He doesn't have to live through Kenichi's shadow kind of, you know what I mean? So I guess that's kind of cool. But at the same time, it must be hard for Subaru because his family, especially after this, going back through this, like, memory lane, basically, 
I hope we hear him mention his family or something because his family is so epic. And I don't know, man. There's not much to talk about this episode because, I mean, not much real story-wise happened. But it is cool that... And we don't know yet until the beginning, or I assume, of next episode. We heard Amelia talking to Subaru. Some of it in the beginning seemed like it was current, like trying to wake her, like, almost like Amelia was trying to wake Subaru up, because he's currently on the ground in, like, the sanctuary or whatever. But then we got a bunch of, like, memories from Amelia from, like, the end of season one, I think. But it is cool that he does remember... <laughs> this is just one thing that I... Okay. There was two things in this show that I've always been thinking about. This was one, his family. It's we, We're good now. We know about his family. His family's epic. And it's even sadder now that he's not on Earth. And two is... I can kind of see why they're probably not going to show us this. Because it's going to be sad and harder for us to watch the show. If they showed us what his family is currently doing like now because you know they're probably devastated Subaru's is just gone you know they're probably all sad and like heartbroken so i'm kind of glad in a way they don't show us but in a way i kind of like to see how they currently are because they both seem amazing and the last thing that they said to him was take care of yourself and that was probably when he hit pause on World of Warcraft and he's going to go run <laughs> and get like a Dorito and Mountain Dew run real quick. And then he gets abducted by the Witch of Envy. I guess. They did say one thing that kind of makes me seem like either was it like, like was it foreshadowing or was it like a throwaway line? Kanichi or Subaru's dad was saying that you got your evil eyes from your mom which makes you look like a bad guy something like that could that be foreshadowing from like 11 seasons from now when he's like bad or something I, I doubt it but I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one in my noggin boys just in case and I think I said this episode like two or three of this show but you know they have to end the show at some point do you think they're going to end the show with him currently with, like, Amelia or back in on this world, our world right now? Like, is he going to wake up at the last episode back in his bed? From, like, he completes whatever the mission that the Witch of Envy is having him currently do. And once he completes it, I mean, she's done with them, so she sends him back to his world. I mean... That would be so messed up. Like, can you imagine they end the show like that? Like, the last episode is him getting sent back to Earth. Never being able to see anyone we've ever met again. But, they said, certain things in this episode made me, those thoughts kind of triggered of how they could have ended the show. Because, his mom in particular said something like, there's definitely someone in your life that's like... And ref she's referring to Amelia and like all these people who are making him like a better person kind of. Something around the lines like that. And that makes me think that like what he's currently doing in Lagunica is like helping Subaru evolve as a person and become a better person because he's able to do what he just did because of everything he's gone through in the other world so what if all of this is to like get him to become like a better person so when he gets sent back to earth he's like able to live and not be so depressed and all that you know what i mean and didn't it seem like in the past so does this, this makes me also think 
Has Subaru always had heart problems? Because Subaru was like, had his hand on his chest, like freaking out, like, but then had eight or like eight o'clock or something. And he's like, then it happened. He says, but that usually makes it better. Referring to the fact that he's had this before. So does that mean the Witch of Envy's always had her grasp on him from like way back? Like watching him grow up or something? Like the way they said it makes it seem like he's had heart issues for like a lot longer than just when he says return by death. And all, all of those heart issues he was currently having, none of them, he didn't say return by death once. So I don't understand why it was happening. So it's very strange. But this is another thing. I know I keep mentioning this and that I don't think they're ever going to, but I feel like this was something that they... I don't know. I wish... You know how he, when he came into this world, the new one, he had a cell phone and he actually took photos of Felt, that character that is no longer in the show, and he would, like, show them? I wish they would bring it back. And reasons why is because if they ended the show, like I was saying, where he does return back to Earth at the very end of the show, do you know how epic it would be? If he had the cell phone and throughout his whole experience of with like Amelia and Ram and Rom and everybody, he takes photos every once in a while of like all of his, his like, I guess his journey. And then when he gets sent back to Earth, the very last episode, I mean, he's obviously sad because he's never going to see them again, but he pulls his phone out and he looks at his photos and he goes back through memory lane of all of like the missions and like all the journeys he's gone on with Amelia and the gang. Do you know how epic that would be of an ending? Because on wherever that phone's at, it does have photos of like Felt and Elsa, I think. Man, I can't believe, I don't understand that. I just think that would have been such an epic, not necessarily ending, but I think keeping the phone around just in case they do decide to end the show that way. I just think that would be epic. It would be so heartbreaking. I would be... <laughs> Dude, I would be a mess. It would be like the ending of Death Note for me, probably. I would be such a mess. But that would be so epic. He pulls his phone out the last episode, and you see him, like, swiping through, and it goes back through. I mean, we see, like, season one, two, three, four, five of all these cool journeys they've gone on together. Dude, I think that would be epic. But clearly doesn't seem like they have that in mind for how the show is possibly ever going to end. I just think that would be a super ballsy way to end the show. Because something has to happen. Either Amelia and the squad is going to be heartbroken that Subaru is just gone forever. Or his family is going to be heartbroken forever that his son is gone. That their son's gone. You know what I mean? So... I mean, which one's it going to be? His family forever heartbroken or Amelia and the squad? You know what I mean? At the end of the show, they're going to have to choose. His family or Amelia. You know what I mean? They're going to have to do something. Or unless there's some way they can, like, port his family. <laughs> I mean, why not? They could port his family to this new world. That would be crazy, but kind of cool. I think that could work. I would like to see that. But also, it would be kind of funny because Subaru might get kind of jealous because <laughs> no cab's dad's good looking and it's just like a muscular version of Subaru. So he would definitely be like, yo, stay away from Amelia. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, that's pretty much it. I enjoyed it, but it, I almost have more questions now than previously because these thoughts kind of went dormant for a while because it's been like we're on season two and they've never mentioned earth but now that we're back on that topic all of these thoughts are coming back in my head boys oh yeah and by the way the credits it showed a lot of beatrice and usually she's not even in the show like at all after like the first five episodes of season one she was like never in the show again 
until the whole thing with petal cues not battle cues petal cues died in like the witch factor and all that it looked like she was gonna cry like i'm not too sure what the witch factor means is she somehow related to one of the witches like is she a daughter of i mean dudes i don't know i mean she doesn't really look like a kidna i mean could she be the daughter I'm just trying to like connect dots because she Echidna is just like in the show currently and they have Beatrice in the credits I mean but I, I, I don't know somehow Beatrice is gonna be playing a bigger part I feel because of the fact the whole thing with Tethel Cuse and what looked like she was crying and she's in the credits when usually she's not even in the show so that's kind of sus but yeah all right I'm in here Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.